Uh, welcome to ESC TV. Today, uh, to, in our Cardio Start programs, we are very happy to have here Professor Valentin Fuster. I think everyone knows his career. He was president of AHA, also World Heart Federation, and also it's now the director in Spain of the Center of National Cardiovascular Research, and is the director of the Thina and Michael A. Weiner Cardiovascular Institute, Monsignor Medical Center. Thanks to be here. Um, I, I think that everybody knows, knows you, and we want to make you some questions about your, sure. your career. We'll Thanks. be happy to. Uh, so, where did you gr grow up? Well, I, uh, I wanted to, be, uh, uh, to work in agriculture, hmm? but there was no university in Barcelona, so I decided to stay in Barcelona because my family was very linked to the medical profession. I became a doctor. Okay, uh, why, did, uh, why, why did you decide then to take cardiology? Well, because the, uh, my tutor, very well known in Spain as an internist, Dr. Ferreras Valenti, had a heart attack at age 40. And he wrote the standard textbook in Spain, which I contributed in the cardiology. Mm -hmm. And what happened was that after the heart attack, he said to me, heart I don't dominate it well enough I want you to be a cardiologist and when you believe on a mentor when you trust a mentor you do whatever the mentor asks you to do yes <laughs> uh, did you have any any more particular mentors dur during your career I think I always had uh, at least two mentors and and I consider a mentor somebody who would jump into the ocean for you and uh, a second the best mentor is that that is critical, not the one that says you are doing fantastic. This is not a mentor that I can trust. Uh, it's very important. All of us grow up through problems that we have in our personality, in the way we do things, in the way we guide ourselves. And therefore, it's critically important somebody who guides you into what you, not, we sh you should not do. I emphasize this because there are too many mentors that are in a completely different side. This is different than a mentor in research or in a particular project. I'm talking about the mentor of your life mm -hmm. from a professional point of view. It's, th thanks, it's a very in interesting point. And we, what, uh, if you had chance, what, what have you been done differently looking to the past? Of Actually nothing. Uh, interestingly, it's like... Um, everything click in a way that I even didn't aim for. Uh, I have been involved with a number of organizations. I never seek for those positions. This gave me the opportunity to deal with uh, particularly young people. In fact, this is what you are doing. Uh, mm -hmm. I was responsible for the forum of the American Heart Association for the young investigators and I have always been very attached to the young people. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, what do you think it's about uh, the nowadays, what, what do you think is the, the greatest, greatest advance in cardiology in the, in the last year? Well, uh, there are uh, three great fields. One is the movement from disease to promoting health. This is critical from an economic point of view. The second movement is from the heart to the brain is the same risk factors, the same profile. The genetic brain disease has a lot to do with the risk factors of heart attack. And the third is actually technology. And the technology is imaging, genetics, and tissue regeneration. These are the three main trends that I think you are going to be facing in the next two decades at least. Now, now in the National Center of Cardiovascular Investigation in research, you are making things related with that. Uh, what projects are well, in we this do. moment? We have, we have 12 projects that are aimed to train young people. And we start at age 16, going to the whole school system in Spain, and we're identifying those who have more creative minds. We give them a, a scholarship and they spend a month or two at CINIC in Madrid uh, with a, an investigator and it's interesting of the first uh, 50 that we choose a large majority want to become investigators they were turned on it's a great thing uh, 
And we do this not only at age 16. Mm -hmm. We have 12 programs that go into even the postgraduate person, the person who is already a doctor, a cardiologist. We still think there is a lot to be gained by giving these opportunities. This is a nice, nice thing, really. I, think. I, I know it because I came from Spain. I know all that, yeah. that project. I think they are very well, it's exciting because, in a way, uh, I think it's the young people is the future. So if you don't focus into the young people, I think you are off road. This is a reality. Uh, talking about things beyond medicine and cardiology, what do you think is the right balance between medicine and family? I think it's a, it's a challenge, but I think it's critical. If you don't have a balance, uh, you will be neurotically imbalanced. And that is, you cannot completely dedicate yourself to just that. And this is where I bring the four T's. Time to reflect, which prioritize your life every day for 10, 15 minutes. You should do nothing and thinking. This is a very important to really set you up not to be going from place to place without having a clear objective, priorities, time to think. Uh, the second is to um, try to find out what is your talent, the second T, and emphasize that professionally. Some can be an echocardiographer, some can be a molecular biologist, some can be a, that's the second T. The third T is to transmit positivity to all around you, whoever it is around you. And the fourth T is tutoring. Tutoring means not only you tutor the young people, but I am tutored by older people, and therefore all of us need tutoring. If you pick up these four T's, you will realize very, very quickly that your life cannot be just your profession. There are many other things that are going to play a role, and this is something I would emphasize and I always do to young people. The four T's. They are very, it's a very good, very good advice. I think we, I, 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 for, for me, it's I will have to think all the, the, all right. these four T's. Think <laughs> every day. Uh, thank you. And what about uh, free time? I know that you like cycling. Uh... No, I do. Uh, uh, free time. Well, I never, <laughs> I never have free time. I always find something. Uh, there are so many things that are stimulating, but there is one thing that I would be very sure young people capture and that is those of you who are where you are you are very lucky therefore you have to give back to society and whatever you do other than professionally even free time be sure that you keep this in mind and that is society gave a lot to you you have to return it back and there is no more satisfaction than being involved by something that you feel you are contributing even very little and I think this is something I will tell you about free time. And that is, there's a lot of things we can do. I have six projects in the world which have nothing to do with cardiology. And there's a lot of free time that I use for that. And, and uh, it's always enriching. So it's, it's, it's just an advice. I, I, I know that you write now some books that maybe we are around medicine but not not well, for children and for that well this true but it's part of this is it's just mm -hmm. you have to find out what can you con what can you transmit to the young to the young people on one hand and this is important transmit to those of you who made it as cardiologists this absolute responsibility Thank you, thank you so much for, for your words and for this interview for, it's a pleasure. For, for the young cardiologists of tomorrow. Thank you, the best luck to you. Thank you so much and I have to announce that we, all these series of interviews will, can be seen on our website and also from, from the, inter, the internet. Th Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you.